What's up video guys and gals, welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool panel here inside Adobe After Effects. Now if you're familiar with the Adobe programs you might be aware of the Photoshop tool content aware fill. Well I just discovered that this is also available inside After Effects. So not only can you replace an object that is still in Photoshop but you can also track and replace a moving object in After Effects which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you how that works in this video tutorial. So as an example, I have a clip in my composition here. It's just a drone shot. And say if we wanted to remove, you know, these cars here in the this vicinity. In order to do that, what we'll want to do first is draw a mask around those cars that we want to remove. So we'll just grab our pen tool and draw a mask around the object that we don't want close off the mask and then hit MM to bring up mask properties under the layer and then choose subtract. Now one thing we do have to do is animate the mask so it follows because if you notice if we go forward in time um, the cars are visible so just keyframe the mask path by clicking the stopwatch. We'll go to the beginning, we'll grab our selection tool and we'll move the mask to kind of follow. Click off see if it's good, looks good. We'll click on the layer, go to the end, click on the mask, and move it over the cars. So now we have an animated mask that's being subtracted from the original footage. Now let's use the effect. So to use it, just click on the layer, go up to Window, Content Aware Fill, and you'll notice it right here. I'm going to undock it so that you can see it better. So you have a few options here. You have alpha expansion. So if you needed to extend the mask, you can. You have fill method. For now, I'm just going to leave it on object. You can choose the range if you want entire or based on the work area, you can make it shorter and do part of the composition. The next part we're going to do is click generate fill layer. And what this will do is actually analyze the footage and then render out a fill layer that will essentially be in the place of the mask. So I rendered out what it looks like at the end. So this is the final result of that footage. And you can see it did a really nice job covering the cars and whatnot. And just a heads up guys, this is a very render intensive effect. And if you are looking for ways to make your rendering faster while using this effect, I did make a video going over one new method in After Effects 2022 that you can use to do that. I'll link it right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I thought it'd be very interesting to share. I hope this brings some value for you guys. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.